Welcome to Elijah's Fire, Deacon Ron here. I want to continue my reflections on prayer, the spiritual life and the spiritual journey. One of the first things you encounter on the spiritual life is the encounter with your own inner darkness, your own inner sin. Last talk I spoke about the need for self-knowledge um, and this self-knowledge is gained by this encounter with our inner shadow. We looked at Jesus going into the wilderness, being led by the Spirit, and there he encounters Satan and it says he he met with wild beasts and with angels. So if we want to meet the angels, we have to first deal with the wild beasts within. You Carl Jung talked about accepting and being conscious of one's inner shadow. Everybody owns a shadow. Everybody has a shadow. That's a dark part of yourself that you don't like to admit. You don't want other people to see. It's it's um, your ego prevents you from accepting it because it's just it's not nice. It's in Lord of the Rings term. It's your inner Gollum, um, and Gollum is quite a despicable figure. But we all have these parts of ourselves. We all have the deadly sins within us and we need to admit this and we need to confront these things. Jesus says um, we need to get rid of the log in our own eye before we can talk about and get rid of the speck in someone else's eye. So he's talking about being conscious of the log in your own eye, being conscious of your own shadow, being conscious of the seven deadly sins or the nine deadly sins, whatever, that are within all of us. A great parable where Jesus talks about this consciousness is the parable of the Pharisee and the publican. And it says, this is found in Luke chapter 18, verse 9. He spoke the following parable to some people who prided themselves on being virtuous and despised everybody else. There you have it right there. Um, prided themselves on being virtuous and therefore looked down on everybody else. And when you accept your inner darkness, inner shadow, that gives you self-knowledge, which always gives you humility, which always it prevents you from looking down upon everybody else because you just know that you are a sinner, just like everybody else. Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee were very strict religious Jews. The Pharisee stood there and said this prayer to himself, I thank you, God, that I am not grasping, unjust, adulterous, like the, re like the rest of mankind. See, there you go. And particularly that I am not like this tax collector here. I fast twice a week. I pay tithes on all I get. So he's a good person. He prays, he fasts, he gives charity. The tax collector stood some distance away, not daring even to raise his eyes to heaven. But he beat his breast and said, God, be per merciful to me, a sinner. That's part of the Jesus prayer. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. This man, I tell you, went home again at rights with God. The other did not. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the man who humbles himself will will be exalted. So look what the Pharisee does. He doesn't, the difference between the Pharisee and the tax collector is that the tax collector is conscious of his own inner sin and he seeks the mercy of God. The Pharisee, because of his good actions, is not aware of his inner shadow. And what does he do? He puts it onto other people. He thanks God that he is not like the rest of mankind or not like the Pharisee over there. And that's what we do when we do not admit our inner sin, our inner brokenness. We project it onto other people, onto other groups of people. We always say the evil is over there. Hitler put all the evil onto the Jews. Um, religious fanatics, for example, Islamic fanatics put all evil onto Christians. Capitalists put all evil onto communists, and communists put all evil onto capitalists. In today's society, critical race theory puts all evil onto white, um, males, Christian, patriarchal, capitalist society. It's When you don't accept the log in your own eye, you will place it onto somebody else. And Jesus is always saying, no, first accept it within here. 
before you can be critical of other people. This is a, a, a first and absolutely necessary stage of the spiritual life and this is what you must confront if you want to live a life of prayer because the more you pray, the more you sincerely seek God, His light is going to shine within your soul and one of the first things that this light will reveal to you is your own inner demons. Um, it's never a pleasant journey. It will always be humiliating, but it's the necessary path we must take. Always remembering that the mercy of God will always hold us and the mercy of God will always give us the courage and the strength and the ability to face those inner demons because God's mercy is greater than any of our sin. God is the perfect medicine. Christ is the perfect medicine for our inner sickness. So we need to be aware of our shadow. This is an important part of the spiritual journey. Thank you for listening and God bless you all.